We're live. What's up, Ron, Damon, Charles? We already see you guys in there creeping up on us early. We've got Bob and James here for being before. Go ahead and say hey, guys. Hey, yo. They came in from Richmond this morning. Uh, they're going to spend the day with Ting Ting in the shop. Uh, the live stream, we're going to make some hand ride songs up full screen for Bob. And then once that's done, we're going to do some stuff for James over here. We're going to make some Damascus for this young man. He's been wanting to make some Damascus. So we're going to take care of that. Uh, who knows? Hell, we might go live for something later on, too, make a day of it if there's nobody else is live at the time. I know we got Yamez after us yeah. at Island Metal Forge. Be ready for that. And we got uh, Penny over at New Penny Forge at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. I think she's finally back on her normal schedule because she's over the crud, feeling crappy, and Tim thinks it is normal schedule on Sunday. So everything's getting back to normal. And Ting Ting's back on Saturday. I missed you guys last Saturday. I'm sorry. Let's see. Got the sun on us. We can't really see the comments. Hold on a second. Billy Martin's here. What's Jeff up, Billy? What's up? Sully's here. Jimmy Swivel. Sobble. How's it going? Hammer time. What's up? There's Anson's in the house. Grayson. JT's here. Share the stream, guys. Hit the like button. There's 17 of you in here. And only five thumbs up. Six. I think it's just Bob so ugly. If, I, if he wasn't hey, look, here, look, I'd probably look, have look, look. Hey, I did my hair special for y'all. <laughs> Green B, what's up, brother? Good time. <laughs> All right, uh, we already got one in the fire, so we ain't going to waste time. Let's see if I can get that aimed at the anvil there. I can't really see because the glare. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I can see it in my screen there. <laughs> my, my plan is, is I'm going to make one and have Bob watch, and he's going to make the other half. Make it to watch all of you just keep up with the comments. Okay. Bob's going to learn how to make some hammer tongs today, guys, so y'all encourage him. Let's see, Buddy Bell. What's up? Long time no see, brother. Who else we got? Rusty Hub Hubcaps, yeah. What's up, shop teacher? Thud Thud got some things to do with the head your way. You should have got up early because you're already late. All right, so what we've got here, about uh, 18 inches of some 5 inch cool spring. we got two pieces of them already stretched out. Bob provided that. Uh, got one in the fire already. I'm going to take it out. And he's going to stand over me and watch me like a hawk. Hopefully he's going to uh, pick up on some things. And he'll be able to make the other one just like it. So we're going to set that one there. Come on out with this one. i got a mark here on my anvil at 6 inches. That's uh, where I want to mark where I start drawing at. I don't want to draw any more than that out. I'm going to start drawing this down to a taper. Here's the side of the ambulance. Saturday off in five months. That's awesome. Glad to see you, brother. What's up? Curiosity. Doing well, Billy. Oh, hope okay. Cap talking to Billy Martin. There you go. Allen, what up? Cody's in the Cody. house. All right, guys, for all those uh, wondering, I didn't paint that because we've had nothing but rain this past week here from been waterlogged. We're at 687 $687 is our total. So far, towards our goal to go to Brazil. 687. That's not bad for a week and a half, man. You guys are awesome. Freaking awesome. Yo. 
Yeah, we're definitely doing a good job getting you mail. Amy's in the house. I miss Amy. You're welcome, Cody. What you thanking me for, brother? What I do? I swear I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. I'm just gonna come out now and square this up. Back to my original set down. I don't want to go any further. I want to do a reverse taper once we start to taper this out. This area here is going to be your boss. Then we'll draw this down to your range. Okay? around your balls and so you're gonna be putting a lot of heat around the bit the bits here no point you drink that you're gonna put that and work in the hammers it means spring starts are gonna be tough but if you need to the range of the boss area you look more flex in it instead of it breaking there you see that spring effect back yeah five inches of snow this morning send it this way man I love snow Man, what's up? When's the hammer punch competition starting? <laughs> that's got to be Yamas. No, that's Champ. Oh, I that's promise Tim. I'll win that. <laughs> I got a press. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> hey, I built the press right on the account. I didn't buy it. That's true. I built it. That's all handmade. <laughs> handmade, guys. Handmade. Handmade press. All right. Start drawing this out. too so i know it's not that we've been out here for an hour bullshitting and talking and getting things set up getting ready straightening out cold spring let's see I'm waiting on thud thud to get here so i ain't gotta keep coming over here bowing in front of the camera bradley said the hell with that keep that snow elsewhere <laughs> hey bradley come on thud thud Share the stream, guys. Hit the like button. Come on. Hit the like button. Put it down that says smash the like button. Like that smush button. Smush the like button. Yeah, whatever. Where is y'all, man? I haven't even seen him. Probably get ready to be this. Cody, man, I'm really, I'm really glad that that conversation. Uh, Went well with us, man. I'm glad it, uh, it helped you out, man. No, I did not. You never sent me your order, Alan. <laughs> yesterday, I wasn't a blacksmith yesterday. I was a leather worker. <laughs> if I've got my shop, he's like, yeah, you think you was a leather worker with all the leather you got laying everywhere? I 
now crawl back. I move down it, doing a reverse taper. I'm working my way back this way. Back that way instead of stretching away with my pulse. You guys see what we're going with? You guys can see that. That thing's going to get real nice. Oh, Thud Thumb's here, though. He's let me know. Bam, bam. He's hobbled up. He'll be here in a little while. He'll be here in a little while. Woodworker advice was picked out off the table. Work till midnight next time. <laughs> I had just let me know, man, because I gotta go to the steel supplier uh, Monday at the latest. I've got orders to get out, people order some billets, and I gotta pick the fill up, fill them, and still got time to give me your order, Alan. Still got time. Well, see, Cody, that's that's why you're messing up. You take the video with you to the forge. <laughs> Sell a knife, buy a Bluetooth speaker. Then you can watch it while you work. Yep. Kevin Laney, what's going on? Matthew Nielsen, how's it going? John Coffee. James uh, okay, John. You were working coffee. Yeah, he's supposed to be working. <laughs> he, they get a dollar, he gets a dime. That's why YouTube don't come with the time. <laughs> Ain't that right, coffee? Sit down in his little cave. He don't get no attention. Play card games in the lobby. You can watch YouTube and shop. That's a good point, Bob. That's what I told John at Old Hickory Forge. He called after we did the six hour knife challenge, the Forge and Fire knife challenge, we all completed our challenge because they did great. Uh, he tried to start a challenge at the no power tool tonight. And he's like, Come on, man, where's the video? I was like, It'll be made sometime. <laughs> I ain't doing it. He's like, oh, I was like, You're crazy. He said, I was like, I didn't build my sander for no reason. <laughs> I didn't go through all that for no reason. I ain't doing that. And it was funny. A week later, Alex still put out his knife with no hand. Yeah. So. Or not knife with no power. Oh, yeah, the new power to knife. I've got a pair of those, champ. They are awesome. Use them up. On the big screen and 7.1 surround sound. Amy Daigle. <laughs> Jeff Pender got me on the <laughs> big, big screen. That's what's up. <laughs> hey, show your hammer off, Bob. Oh, you go. Grab it. Bob had met practicing with some electro engine. It's in the back of the truck. Did I put it up? Yeah, I said that. You want the head? <laughs> trying to get all the inconsistencies out of it before I 
can go any further. Maintain a clean fortune, get it done with a clean fortune, right? Getting warm? Yeah. <laughs> it was only brisk 30 degrees this morning. I say it's about 50, I can come out of that. John woke up to a six degree wind chill. You can keep that, brother. <laughs> you can keep the show off that hammer, Bob. Then in front of the mice, I don't see it pretty well. Right there. Oh, yeah. See the deer hoof in the side of the cheek there? Hang the handle down something. Damn. Yeah, there it is. See the deer hoof? He's got a bear paw on the other side. That one's going to be a little harder to see. Didn't come back quite Come a little closer if you want. There it is. See the bear paw? Add some news, Cody. What's up? That's a Bob Mew hammer. <laughs> That's a Bob. There Yom is. He's here. Yeah, I think that hammer turned out good, man. Oh, good. I like it. Share the stream, guys. Get some more in here. I only got 29 of you. Oh, I was going to say, it won't take long. All right, one more run. Just to make you feel better. shit on Facebook all day. <laughs> There's more space in here than it looks like on the line. It does. It is. I, I thought this was a whole lot smaller than what it was. Well, you know, three, that whole portion of the field for me is going to go right here. Yeah. And then that post vice, that rack right there is going to get moved over to here. This post vice is going to get put right there. Then the striking angle is going up here where the post vice is. Because the post vice, as long as I can get three quarters of the way around it, I'm good. As long as I get the front and back, so I can bend alongside either way I need, mean, you know, while I keep position like this, I can still bend alongside this way. And put my chains in, I can still bend all the way around this way, take it out the river, bend back the other way. It'll work the best sitting over there instead of right smack in the middle. When I change this, do that, the old post comes out. That's when that's going. Well, he could use it or use a post. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice hook for his first hook. hook. I don't see a lot of people making that on their first. <laughs> it was, uh, I was right. Oh, there's a little bit of a The first one, I think, we just went. <laughs>
That's a very, very good way and indicative characteristic of 5160. It loses heat fast. It, it has a very short working range. Just share it on Facebook. Well, thank you. No, I ain't broke that mouth yet. I've used this out of enough. That thing does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to kind of spread and mush up instead of break apart. It has not done it. It's done nothing but what it's supposed to do. I will tell you, it's, it's straightened out probably 60 knives, so 60 spike knives so far, Alan. You know, and you're going to have that on any kind of mallet, the, the fraying of the oh, ends. Yeah. That's going to happen. But what you don't see is it splitting apart or busting down the center and doing none of that. It is great. I love it. It's awesome. Check Alan out. The rusty hubcap forward. I think he cares like behind me the damn chickens. Okay, we're just going down. Ting ting, we want an extra half an hour. What's up, y'all, man? What's the matter, man? I don't know if I would use a four by four. 
That's pine. That stuff will splinter. It's salt. Oh, you don't. You just don't want to go live, huh? <laughs> no, we're gonna go hour short, so you can have an extra hour, y'all. How about that? Put your lazy ass up and go light your pork and get ready. Hey, was it sleeping in day? Thud, 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 thud sleeps in, and y'all wants to get out of that. Don't be lazy, John, man. You ain't getting away with that. It's a chance to work. Because at a certain point, I want to stop working for the camera so we can speed up the pace and actually get stuff done while they're here. Because right now, we're working for a camera. Yeah, that's right. You know? Can't really kick it into overdrive. All right. They hit it our way. Hey, bring biscuits. I'm buying. Bojangles has them. You know I don't like, baby. We're going to have to make a B-double-E-double-R-U-N here a little soon. Y'all want to bring the bread from the If I know Bradley, but like I think I do. <laughs> Ain't nobody ever accused him of not being willing to have a few adult libations on a Saturday. <laughs> Rod and Kenny are in the shop. What's up, man? I know you busy, man. How you doing today, Bryden? Guys, I want to show y'all something. I'm really bummed out about this. Uh, Looks beautiful, don't it? This thing pissed me off, bummed me out. Look at that edge. I've chopped and chopped and chopped with this thing. And beautiful. Still razor sharp. Left it out in the cold last night in my trailer. Come out this morning. I don't know if you can see that crack there. Right there. Comes all the way down on the weld. And it's not the weld come loose because you can see the grain of the steel. That's a crack. And it was not cracked last night or the other day when I was messing with it because it showed a few people they looked at it. Everything was beautiful. Me and Bob noticed that this morning. Well, there you go, Yamez. It sounds like you got an idea of what you want to make.
Spacers down, take that other little shim out. How many we got? 25. Hey, Tucker. Tucker's in the house. What's up, man? Let's see, they're talking crap about my axe. What I do? <laughs> he won't have me when he saw it, I can tell you that. <laughs> How do I scroll up in the comments? Stupid ass thing. Here we
Chris is coming apart soon. There's my daughter. Hey, you. Love you. That's her. You can look at her. I was going to burn your eyes. <laughs> I told you to behave. I didn't say you couldn't talk to her. <laughs> She's 13. <laughs> Y'all be friends. <laughs> That's all you're going to be is friends, though, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell Your cheeks almost match that hat now. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> you're cold. <laughs> I know you. Hey, you're a Boy Scout. Yeah. Go build us a fire over here. You're serious, he will. I'm dead serious. Go build a fire in my fire pit over here. I got wood on the other side of my truck stacked up. Got log, got bark on it. You can strip off. Huh? I can't hear you. Yeah, you can burn the pumpkins, kick them to the side. Once it's gone, we'll throw them in there and we'll just let them put them down. Yeah, you made his day now. You're talking big burn shit. <laughs> Sorry. Don't, up, catch up. Don't, don't burn my house down. <laughs> Bradley. Everybody say hey to Thud Thud. He's calling me. What's up, man? Hell yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said Bojangles. <laughs> uh oh, he'll bring business. I'll buy one. Uh, yo, uh, chicken business. Bro. All right. Breakfast is on the way. <laughs> What's in the press, James? Nothing's in the press. Yet. I'm fixing the fix on promise on this thing. I cheated on mine. Bob's throwing his out of my hand. You're only one to push it back to square. Yeah, I kind of took it to eight sides for a second. Now I'm pulling the material around right this side. And that's going to pull it all back to the line. This is the point of fortune where a lot of people struggle. Just gotta know which way to start first. So the rhombus is kind of like a diamond shape. I always start with the diamond up. Say if it's rhombus over that direction, I'll turn it up like that and hammer that diamond back this way. That's gonna twist it all that steel coming this way. See how that's kind of rhombus there like that? Towards it like that. See, I got the flat point on the corner, and I'll go back flat, pull that flat back down where it needs to be, just on that side, and go back and press it up. And now we're back to square. Square inch. Lost a lot of heat. But, well, on what? Yeah, I misjudged how much, uh, Spraying, we cut off that thing. I was like, we need two pieces about that size for him right home. So we cut off two of the size. And no, we didn't. No, one of them stretched out was two of these. We got two of these out of one piece this size. So it's very deceiving. You know what would have helped me? Jeremiah's circumference ruler, if I'd have had it in the show. But no, I use it so much that it's out here at the shop, out here at the smithy. 22 watch it. What the hell's wrong with y'all? Oh, shit. You guys hurt my feelings. You got Bob here. We need to have Bob dance in the background or something. Yeah, what did you say? I got white people. I dance, I dance like the whole day. <laughs> Share the stream, guys. These Saturday morning streams, is, uh, the, the numbers is way lower than they usually are here lately. 
probably 20 seems like a lot, but when I used to live on Saturday, I had 40 or 50 in here. Now I got 20. What's up? Huh. He said he yelled hi to Bradley as loud as he could. He scared the shit out of the dog with the wife, but he doesn't <laughs> think Bradley hurt him. <laughs> Painting the roses red. What's up? How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Uh huh. Where's Josh at? I see you, Miss Becky. Where's old Pastor Josh at? Is it lit? No. I told you. Tell the boy you can build a fire. Normally he goes. That's what I laughed and told him. I'm like, you know, like we can't find something to set something on fire. Well, you a Boy Scout. I ain't scared to give you a lighter until you go to fire. <laughs> I hope they taught you how to do it smartly. I'm sure they did. Look, look, you know what you're doing. But see, I was the bad when we did the cup camp. Yeah. I used to go and come up with all this goofy ways. I knew how to start a fire, like a battery and a Brillo pad, SOS pad. to light your fires like that. It can get scary in a hurry. Oh, Roy's in the house. What's up, brother? Hey, 
Roy. She's up, didn't ask for coffee, went straight for the honeydew scroll. That's awesome. <laughs> Need to practice starting a fire with a hammer. Me and John Norwood practice that. Let me tell you something. They tell you that that's a skill that you have to acquire as like a Japanese bladesmith, swordsmith. Uh, they have to know how to do that to start their fire. That's a skill that it takes some time to learn. Uh, trust me, if you don't do it right, you're going to split your steel off the pieces. Your file stock, your bar stock. Where you, yeah, where you draw out a taper and you just hammer it so fast on the tip to heat it up to light the paper. It's tough. We tried it for about an hour over here. It'll wear you out. It'll wear you out. Like this end up down here, so. It's a little better than everything else. Guys. He does. He's getting ready to make the other blank, the other brain, uh, the other half of these tongs. He's watching me so he can try and learn something on how to make them. And then he's going to make the other half. Uh, I'm, right now, I'm just getting them drawn out, boss ready, get everything done before we start shaping it. That way, he can make sure he's got the right length, his tapers in the beginning, the right place. Uh, that way everything matches up once we put them together. So once I'm done with this and get the boss uh, dressed out and everything, uh, I'll set that one to the side, let him do the reverence, and then Bob's going to be taking over on the camera or at the forge. But he's going to be working. I'm going to be giving him some tips to help him out. So, I suck at teaching, though, so he might not get a pair of tones out. He might get some beat up metal. <laughs> I got some of the slate when I still didn't put together the first few feet. Bring them with you? No, I didn't. Yeah, bring them with you, did you? I don't think I did. Oh, yeah. No, it didn't. Alright, I'm going to start rounding these up. I got big enough hands so like about half an inch. I like to leave the last inch and a half two inches squared up. Work the corner that way. It's got a nice pencil strength compared to the transition of the boss. It's a lot stronger over a flat surface area when it's around. It's harder to put a flat surface area on its side to inside. Taking that to this tones, it would be a lot harder to bend that that direction. 
than it would if this was a ground. It has no potential strength here on this flat surface or on the cross area. It's ground is around here. I like to keep the transition from the balls to the brains more squared than breaking water to give it a little bit more strength. You can see how they keep them flat like that. That's why. That way they can resist. They can keep. Where the hell is he going? Oh, brother, you want to go dirt track night? <laughs> they have a Thanksgiving thunder up in Antioch. We going to dirt track tonight. <laughs> I was wondering where he was going. Womack just drove by. Thud, thud. If you're watching Womack calling his late model topless up to Antioch, it kind of stopped me mid sentence. <laughs> I see. I was like, wait a damn minute. Season, but it's not over at Antioch. <laughs> Hell, that might just be a thing to see. I'm going to the dirt track tonight. You want to come? <laughs> We get done forging, we'll go up there and watch the dirt track racing. Yeah. Antioch ain't the other way, you crazy. He's going up to 40, up to Morganton. Mountain views up towards Boone, up 321. You got both go up 321. Antioch's in Morgan. He's headed towards Morgan. You out of here, brother? We'll take we'll take it easy, man. Glad you stopped in for a little bit. All right. Yeah, I plan to this weekend uh get my Print my hydraulic ram over there painted up with a chalkboard paint so I can show you guys where everything where we're at so far with the donations for going to super chats, but we're saving up to go to Brazil. 687 so far, so huge thumbs up. Thank you.
17th or this is the 10th where is that damn guy going well they got running the tent today we gotta figure that out because he was hauling he was hauling the race car bob hits him still in the fire Y'all ain't listening to what I'm saying. He's going to. I've got one ammo. I don't double work my ammo. It's not nice to have two people ganging up and beating on the head. Plus, it gets confusing. People get hurt that way. Unless you both work on the same project. My cords get stuff out way too fast for us to work two things at one time on the same hand. Well, he's working, I have to be watching. Because I can't be working. He's using the hand. My stuff's overheating because he's working. We'll just keep it like this. How's that? Yeah. That's right. I like his job. I don't know where I found it at. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I love this thing here. It's dark as shit. You can see it ain't skipping it, but that's why I use it to round up. It's got a very gradual flat face and up the planets to round up running without the man. That's what I use it on. Good thing. Bobalicious. Now it's on to the B&B Ford show. <laughs> Think things taking a break. I don't get paid enough for this crap. Oh, we only got three minutes left on here. Time out. All right, we good now. Now it does time out on the screen. I filled up the car. I got to leave some for the top of the board. Oh, we okay. had the screen wheel go blank. Nice motor. All right, now there's your mark. Remember that's your first one. Put a mark, and then you want to come to the near side. Don't compress your pulse. Pulse is that area in the center. So you should make that mark. Only work for that mark. Take it down, square it up first, right? Yeah. Always have a good plan when you come out of the bar. <laughs> Your main objective on this heat get that bar yeah, set where you can see it, bar square. If you get it all square, does it today and get it all square in one hand. Good deal. Right. But don't don't think that you're not doing enough if you don't just yeah. pay more attention to the detail than anything. So 
old man, it's slow as fast, fast as Oh yeah, seventeen feet like it's probably drive print. I don't know what it is there. I don't know what it is there. My wife came back and she left again. Where'd you go, baby? Oh she didn't leave me in here. See, no, it looked like one person ran in and then we got that. Ben Toons, what's up? About time you got your lazy ass out of bed, Captain Nemo. What are you still on Australia town? He is in that way here though. He's going to be here right now. Look at here. It's going to be a nice couple of looks. Whoa. Got a little wiggle to it. Got a little wobble to it. It's not sitting on flat ground, but yeah, it'll work. All right. You got a good mark there. Thought she was a Boy Scout. <laughs> That's a good point. Woods whip. It's been raining here for the past week. All right, take your heat now. And it is the difference in that dark shop of mine compared to the other day. Best with you, morning. Everybody's leaving. It happens. Oh, God, look at Bob's shirt. He brought that just for me. <laughs> what do y'all think? Think I can rock that? It goes well with my persona, don't it? Oh, I'm wearing my. I'm a blacksmith. Who says you can't fix things with a hammer? <laughs> it's got a logo on the back. I got always say, if you ain't got the right tool, hit it with a hammer. Hi, right, Bob. Check your heat. What's that thing called? That board don't take you long. Yeah, I was gonna say, it ain't like mine. Hit that share button, guys. Come on. We got two different channels in here today. That's Bob from B&B Ford. Making some hammer tongs for him. That's just the first project of our day today. We got many things we want to do. Uh, main goal is to make a nice billet of Damascus for his son, James. We're going to make some uh, scrap pile of Damascus. We got a lease frame. We got 1084 flat bar. We got cable. We got 15 and 20. We got some barrier grass. I think we're going to make a big sandwich of all the different ones. That's right. If you can't fix it with a hammer, you ain't got a big enough hammer. Bob over there stole that hammer from me. It was my favorite damn hammer. He just took off with it from watch. They said I couldn't have it back. I think he likes it. Just a little bit. <laughs> Don't force it. Just use a bigger hammer. Everybody's leaving. Come on. Bob, you got to take your shirt off or something. They don't want to watch you with our clothes on. What's that? 
He said, everybody's leaving. I guess one of them has got to take work with a shirt off. Not it. Uh, I don't think you want to see all this sexy. It's snowed in the north of the <laughs> Amy Graw still here. Well, how about it, Amy? Did you share it, Amy? I know you shared it, didn't you? So how's that fire coming along there, Scout? Really, it's not. I found some dry things. I got a blowtorch. That don't even do It's laying over on the other side. Don't use all my gas, though. It's a full bottle. Come on the other side of the board there on the ground. The second one I use. All right, you got some heat in there now. Should have known Bradley said he was at Bojangles now. He'd be another hour. That's got to be the slowest Bojangles on the planet. I ain't no, no stripping. I ain't had a beer yet, Shepherd Hill says. <laughs> hey, my glove goes all the way up to your elbow. You ever get scaled down there? Man, Jeff, thank you. I'm going to get a drink. You dirty? Yes. Sweet tea? Yes, I would.
What's up? Welcome uh, back. Sir. The thud made it. Better late than never, I guess. <laughs> At least the sun's out. Yeah. <laughs> I was glad because when I was packing last night, it was still raining in my house. Hey, James. James. Go help. Go help. Hey, Go help. Hey, Tiffany. Go help. Go help. Go help. Being the hospitable host and all. Thud Thud's in the house. Look, Thud Thud shows up. We get four more viewers. What the hell, guys? <laughs> they just wanted to see me. Uh, I swear, I don't believe you're a Boy Scout. I don't believe you're a Boy Scout. Dr. Daddy, dude, he ain't a fire going on. <laughs> Uh, he's getting a campfire girl. <laughs> he ain't got to use well, Girl Scout water to get the fire going, does he? In his defense, the Boy Scout troop he's with is a little um, citified. <laughs> his mama lives on the end of town. <laughs> Jeff Pender, what's happening? Craig J. It's Bradley in the house. Thud, thud. Not bam, bam. But how you doing? Ben Toop, what's happening? Now, if it was bam, bam, you'd be all I guess. Yeah. That's right. We'd have to wheel him down here in the chair. Put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could have bought the broadcast wheelchair. He sent me pictures of his knee all jacked up. I turned and told him, I said, look, quit playing with them damn teenagers and 20 year old. Chicken fillet biscuits. How much are you? Not be mistaken for chicken fillet biscuits. How much are you? How much are you? Uh, <laughs> oh. She went inside this time. <laughs> See that you never seen that before? What? You somebody's wife money and they put them, put it in their husband's pocket. You don't see that very often. No. Nope. Pulled in, grabbed her, grabbed her. Said, "You want me to go here? Yeah, yeah." Last time when Alan was over here, I stopped by there and gave us a steak, egg, and cheese biscuit. It took about thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Trailer, 
Pop up up there. Discussing how long it took Bojangles last time uh, to get biscuits. Uh, you go for good food, not quick service. That's right. <laughs> I don't mind waiting long. That's fresh. Right. Yeah, the problem is, you did that Bojangles, you probably ain't gonna get either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? And it's yeah. the newest damn Bojangles around. Might not Willard's even get what you ordered. What's that the one that he built that Willard out? built that Bojangles. Mm-hmm. I remember he said he built them right around the corner. Mm-hmm. Too bad Wheeler didn't teach him how to run it because it'd go a little faster. Oh no, Wheeler just slow down and cook, but he's a good cook. That's the trick of cooking. Slow cooked meals is the best. About the uh, the pork grillers they got, add some egg and cheese and bacon. Oh my God, man! I was working on a job site. They had a barbecue. Yeah, they did a barbecue brisket and egg Texas toast sandwich, and it was like three bucks. Yeah. I mean, I know what my family would have had for what lunch uh, and dinner that night. Oh God, man! They can they just amazed me. They rolled through the first two projects and when they built the third building, they left. Why? We don't know. Never found out why. That place was packed. They had them in a burrito uh, into the there. We used to lay it. We could go there and eat breakfast and lunch for under eight bucks a day. All right. Yamez sitting spin watch. He tried to back out of his live stream today so we could work longer. He said, no, working for the camera's fun. When you got somebody over, you want work and get stuff done. That's right. in the house. Rob, right. what's up, buddy? Uh-oh, I see more smoke than normal. Is it burning? So that has fire lit by later. <laughs> he's on fire. <laughs> hold it. You got a motor going to burn it. Stick it in there and burn it. Hold it until it, it catches on fire. Coffee's for break time. What's happening? What's up, John? Tell them, man, they make a dime. Or dollar, you make a dime, you get to YouTube on company time. That's right. Or you just don't tell How's the boss that like I did. I know. I see it was full. <laughs> it was full. That's my wife. My wife makes that. When you first brought it out here, I said, hey, we're starting early. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's always that possibility. $5 super chat from y'all, man. Uh-oh. Yeah. How much to get you to tickle Bob? <laughs> uh, he ain't tall, but he's big, and I don't know. He's, 
<laughs> you put a couple zeros behind that five, and we might start tickling. <laughs> Put a couple of series, I might let it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that? That's $6.92 now. And these are all numbers. I haven't removed YouTube's cut yet. Uh, YouTube's going to take 30% of that. So, yeah. But once this month comes through from YouTube, I will be opening a savings account to put it in. I'm thinking, <laughs> maybe. Oh, look, man. Right? The they have things from crack. Huh? They didn't. The edge did I mean, I've been chopping like hell. You'd think it was a bad heat treat or something that would have cracked on the edge. It cracked sitting down. It didn't crack while I was using it. It cracked overnight. Thank you. I guess it cracked overnight. Alan said, get a few beers in him, he'll comply. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little bummed about that axe cracking. Yeah. Aiden's getting hung on the wall now. Wall piece. That's a wall piece. Still razor damn sharp. I'll probably take get that edge, knock that edge off of it. Huh? I like him trying to do that. Yeah. 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 Oh, and that's a Hans Draw hammer, by the way, if y'all didn't know that. It's a Hans Draw straight beam. Oh, and Hans. I went and picked up something to cook for you. Make the long walk or whatever you get to go get from. <laughs> Is that where y'all had some bridge? Yeah. Not too far, too far up the street. No, no. No, we, we pulled out the house right about quarter till four. Got him cut in there. That was with a couple. Somebody hadn't inherited a peanut platter. <laughs> We'd have made it here sooner, but I had to make two you know, unskid <laughs> The one I was, we had to put a little food in the middle. <laughs> Y'all man says, Bob, how much to get you to tickle Ting Ting? <laughs> Dude, I just walked up with a big ass hammer. That's probably not smart. <laughs> Well, it could be painful. <laughs> like I said, I don't like getting tickled for twenty dollars or twenty dollars. Twenty dollars or twenty dollars. Let's see. Oh, I got an axe here, sharp enough to cut. Hans, are you watching? Is Charming Hollow in there? Yep, eight and a half. I, I'm sure he knows what I'm doing. I've got a hammer handle in my hand. Some coffee. Who? Tickle him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not clapping for that one, John. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's tickle time. <laughs> I'm only for the big now first. <laughs> I've been known to throw elbows when I get tickled, just so you know. And uh, I, I don't need to be the pulling no in water. <laughs> hey man, I can't blame that man for that. Hell no. Eduardo, you are my hero, Hulk. If you're watching, say, oh, he's not watching. He's doing his uh, craft fair. Craft fair. 
ten dollars from Mr. Toons. Yes, oh, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so that's seven seventeen, seven twenty-seven. Or no. Ninety-two, seven twelve. Seven twenty-two. Seven twenty-two. Seven twenty-two. I wish my kids would listen like that. I'm going to go shave this down of hair. Be right back. Rob says y'all need some fuzzy animal uh, onesies. <laughs> Betty couldn't get me on one of them things to drive you in. <laughs> well, well, I guess we're lucky Halloween's over. <laughs> yeah, always looks better than my first one. Mm -hmm. I'll lay it. I try to make a sense. <laughs> this is what I ended up with. Well, it's not too bad. <laughs> well, actually, I started to try to make a set of beats. <laughs> and then they turned into that. <laughs> from Granddad's board, less tickling, more whacking. <laughs>
Y'all may have said he's got your apron and stuff, so they either mail it or bring it to IVOR. Yeah, I might get with you on that, y'all may have, I might uh, get you up with the, uh, <laughs> give you the money to send it to me. All right. Tell me right what's happening. What's up, brother? Tom lives here in North Carolina, too. Tommy right. And Wolfpack does now too. Huh? So Wolfpack does now too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Down to Fayetteville. Huh? Down to Fayetteville. What? No, he moved to Charlotte. Brother Charles. He done got him a job too. Did he? Working on a construction site, construction cleanup for now. It's better than nothing. That's right. They get a two for one. They can watch Bob Ford and they can watch me burn a handle. That's right. Double dipping in the live stream today. Granddad's board, sorry, got to go. Aaron Dennis, got to go. We'll see y'all. Go, take it easy. Hey, Ralph. Take my burn up red covered wax and oil mix. I know we got some new rags up here. <laughs> oh, I <I'll> burn them up. <laughs> I know where there could be a big bin of them. Over here, somewhere in this here vicinity. General area. In this general area. We have to come by and check it, check it out here in the back of us tomorrow on the ground. Y'all doing the bench match tomorrow? Well, you, uh, Don't forget, go ahead and put the tiles on your truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It might need a new blade, but I think there's a brand new blade in the tile saw. Okay. Uh, it's still in the pack. There's one, the one that's on it's probably worn out, but there's a brand new blade down in the bottom of the saw. And there's a stand in there. Take a stand and everything. Watch out, boy. You ain't done getting dirty. <laughs> There's a water hose right there. There's some grass right there. If you want, you can go in there and wash your hands. You're going to get dirty again. We're going to make the mask. You're going to get dirty making the mask. All right, Hod. Here we go. Hod, girl, hammer. Back in action. Don't you worry your little pretty face off about the rust on the faces. That's just air moisture from the air. It will be dealt with swiftly and fiercely today. Because we're going to make something with it. That is the one that uh, I broke the handle on the quad state. Now you can draw out the rain. Yeah. That tank tank breaking stuff again. Yeah, uh, damn tank tank. Can't have nothing <laughs> nice around that crazy asshole. He'll break it. He says, thank you, sir. Who said that? Uh, Han, I done told you quick call me, sir. <laughs> Call me brother. Oh, oh what this shit? Drink wine or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a nice trip, Bob. Okay. One thing I'll tell you. I got to clean that up. Clean that in stuff. Now we're getting your trip. Doing them three. 
but you got it. That, that's great. That is a great shape, perfect shape for a grip. I mean, I like the rounded side and everything. Keep that in clean. That's the last. Bradley's been here when that shit's happening. <laughs> yeah. And shit gets wrong yeah. whenever that happens because you lose your punch, your grip, whatever gets stuck in there because you got to. Yeah. That yeah, punch it out. It destroys the end of your punch. That day we lost two hammer blanks, grip. Yeah. Because <laughs> I didn't press it into my grip. Yeah, I was going to say, normally before I started, he said, I knocked that there three back to back to back. And when I picked it up, it was just like to throw it in the bucket. I looked at it and went, oh. I had a subscriber early on in my channel. And I, I, I feel terrible. I was going to write his name down. I was still doing it. Yeah. It didn't dawn on me. But he sent me some points, brown stains. And I don't want to make some grips out of that. Tommy Wright said, I'll be home around two. Anyone going live after that? Penny is. Penny should be on by then. There you go, Miss Penny. New Penny Ford should be on after that. Ah, uh, he's working on the range. What's her time at? Oh, whoa, 11.38. I thought it was at 1.38. We got 20 minutes. So like my time went by fast. <laughs> Now just mark it like a surgery right there. There, there. Where's it in your tank right there? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. You got it. That's Yamez Mawabo. Uh, I want to make a model over, so I got to think close his jaw up a little bit. <laughs> Like meat river, uh, the goddamn uh, Moabo skull. Oh yeah, you know. that was uh, James Corey, I believe. If not mistaken. I asked him, I was like, "What the hell? You're making railroad spikes out of meat flippers?" <laughs> Corey Jai's in the house. Corey, what's up, buddy? Got Bob on the end, putting in the work. I'd say let him use the press, but he's never used it before. The rope we ruined his blank on. <laughs> it's easy to do that on that press. What's that? Over squishing. Oh, I can only imagine. I was watching you, and that's the first thing I thought of. I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't have any time to pump it. I've seen, yeah, I've seen him do it a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> when I was making that octopus, yeah. that was the worst one, man. I had it all perfect. Had the collar welded, the hot collar welded, and the forge welded bundle. Yeah. With a hot collar around it, welded all together to make the mask for the head. Yeah. And then fold the legs out. Yeah. Got it all welded up and everything. And I was I was doing the isolation to the puller to pull his head away and then draw his leg, form his legs. Yeah. Stuck that bastard in there. Well, he heat to the well. I hit it and it said, switch the flat as a pancake. <laughs> Just where the puller was, too. So, not quite like I could upset it back because it was a nice it was five eighths inch wide puller, flat as a pancake in the center. It was toast. Wasn't nothing I could do. Hurt my feelings. I gave up. <laughs> Hurt my feelings. Don't think. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. Uh, what time you start? You started what? Ten o'clock. Yeah. 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 Ten o'clock on Saturday morning's court.
then on the next one, I can actually draw it out. It's one I want to, you got to take time when you first start, so you don't get a weird ass wrong. You're going from round to square on a pair of semi drawing dies. It's flat in the center, but it's got a draw edge on each side, so I can use it. Uh, I'm in lazy the half man sometimes. That's just the bottom line. Everybody wants all my stuff and everything. They want me to make them stuff, so I don't get to make nothing for me here. Looks like I have a nice breeze going on. Yeah, there's a little breeze, not too bad. Every now and then. Of uh, course, uh, that's 7 a.m. for me. I didn't get to know the notice phone was off. Ah, oh, it's your hammer's going in the rack now. It's become part of the family. <laughs> seven o'clock, man. Seven o'clock, I thought it was what time did you hit the road this morning? Woo! He told me he's I'll be there about 8, 8.30. And he sent me a message. Oh, I just got off at Oxford School. I said, shit, I got to go to the hardware store. <laughs> <laughs> you was almost at the hardware store already. <laughs> he said, yeah, and finally got off the highway. And I'm like, oh, hell. He's like 20 minutes away. I better hurry. <laughs> I think you got it going. It's still yeah. smoking and he's over here. Yeah. Keep that stick going. Don't let it go out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just a pile of mold. It's, it's, it's these trees. Oh, when you grind them up. Oh, I ground them all up to a pile there. Uh, we cut them all down. Well, I was tired of cleaning the limbs up, man. Them damn wrap repairs fall, so we cut them off right there. We're going to push out and make privacy down the back instead of getting taller. We're going to push out so they're falling down. But when we cut them all up, we brought the eight inch stump right here. The whole damn tree went in. It's a bit of coast in the house. The only thing we could grind is you walk away by that tree. They're too big. Like, yeah. Oh, the shape spray down. Yeah. Fit in there. Yamez is next. But if it would fit in the damn splitter, Oh, yeah. Roger, it ain't. No qualms about it. Oh, it didn't hesitate a bit. Uh, I got the other one. I already said, not that long ago, but then I'm thinking, but I'm like, hell, it ain't been out of the house. <laughs> 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 and the storm come down and I had a bunch of trees and I was plugged. Uh, one of our guys worked for some of that food ramp. He let us bring one of his three boy templates. Now, <laughs> builds and how slow they move from electric to gas and look at the size of the motor he had to oh, use it's, it's huge plus the vfd the pump all that stuff you had to buy to build it and the loss of power that you lose from the electric motor is five horsepower you need like an eight nine horsepower motor to put out what a five horsepower <laughs> gas engine yeah. you know set you up something so it runs off the water waste oil be nice Find a way to Sam. Sam. Hey, Sam. Man. Make a waste say, oil carburetor, man. I was gonna say, if anybody can figure it out, it's Sam. All right, I got you drawn out good. You need to go back, and take the rock. I'm gonna let you practice taking robbers out. Right. Robbers, it's not, it's not bad. It's not a bad robbers. It's robbers. But it's drawn out about as far as you want to go with the press. Use the warm jaw. The warm jaw will hold that in a lot easier. Okay. Lock it down right there. You can 
spin it a lot easier. Bob, show you that. I say that the electro edge that hook in front of there. The bear paw on the other side. Huh. I just thought about something. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's going to have to start getting budgeted. <laughs> you got too much stuff in the budgeted section. <laughs> Finally got it up and going. Gave him some old knife scales and stuff that are I got five thousand pairs of them. Five hundred thousand pairs of damn knife scales I won't ever use. They're dry as a bone. It's the only dry wood I got around here actually. <laughs> Everything else is swimming in water. Uh, about 10 minutes. I did my, I got my month in review from YouTube. Wound up getting another 1,400 hours of watch time last month. Hours, not minutes, it's like 81,000 minutes or something like that. Uh, 107 new subscribers last month. Uh, yeah. Over 7,000 comments, 94 shares. Done pretty good last month, guys. Thank you. They sent it to you every month. Oh, I know they do. Yeah, once you. They sent it to you. They didn't send it to you. I got monetized. Really? Well, I guess because mine has the analytics for all. You have all the other stuff. stuff. I, I get how many, like, views and stuff like that. I got a Willard's supposed to be here sometime or other. Oh, is he coming? Oh, yeah. no, I did find the free Huh? I did find the free That's awesome. Under. If you guys are subscribed to Bob, I'm sure all 19 of you are, though. Yeah, I was going to say, probably the ones that you I do appreciate it. <laughs> the, 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 the watcher, the viewer count for my Saturday live stream is way down here lately. Am I getting uglier? Does my beard get bigger or what? Uh, no, the beard's, de beard's definitely helping. That's why I'm throwing the high See, I've seen some of the pictures where he ain't got this beard. It's kind of like me. <laughs> Except for Mother Nature was mean and took my cover off. <laughs> She's working on mine. I've been fighting her. Uh, that's what I told Renee last night. I said, thinking about shaving my head. She said, like, bald? I said, no, just like we used to, you know. <laughs> I got too many moles up there to shave bald. You want to laugh? Before we went to this, it was down in here. Mm. Mine was down there a couple years ago. Yeah, old Bradley's had long hair. 
Who, who, who's running a Yamaha today? Why are you wearing all Yamaha? All boat Duh, huh? <laughs> Duh, huh? Yeah, Yamaha. Yeah, Sponsored, man. I'm sponsored. Looks like it. <laughs> Covered in Yamaha here. Yeah, I'm laughing. Me and this woman got married. And Tanner McCollin, the beard. Not like yours. I came back in the town. Two weeks later, shaved the beard off. Showed up her work on her birthday, and I was clean shaved. And I went home from work. Shaffered it, shaved it. <laughs> All I know is I woke up, she was on the phone, and Terry turned to see because I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. My husband's here and he's bald. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now, blame, now that she's on her own, I blame her for the loss of all that. <laughs> Once it went away, it never came back. <laughs> it didn't it? come back. But believe it or not, I actually don't miss it. I wish it was just old. Wash your hair with your hair instead of shampoo, man. No, don't do that. You won't have any more hair to worry about. Well, yeah, but you'll burn the snot out of your head. <laughs> we were mean, though. Shit, where are you? <laughs> Just so you know. Oh my lord. <laughs> Those are pretty locks. Oh yeah. All the old ladies love the curls. Love the curls. I think that's why he cut his hair. Renee is in the bathroom. bathroom like, you gotta cut that shit off. I'm tired of these old ass Jerry X is filling up on my husband. <laughs> 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 and I lost the Colonel Sanders. Are you serious? Yeah, he's off the colonel. <laughs> <laughs> but this man didn't even wear a costume. He just looked like Colonel Sanders. Yeah, like he, he, he put a white tux on and carried a bucket of chicken. And, and that's all he had to do. Like had the oh, mustache and the. Yeah. yeah. He, he has that all the time. And he generally generally looks like Colonel Sanders in like, street clothes. Like that's what you know, the straight face one. Flatten all the way up, and stay straight on that side, and flatten all four sides. Hey, you got it going over there? I'm trying to stay square. Now, just round, uh, draw that section out a little bit. It's a little flat right there. So, you come out and concentrate on that. Okay, there you go. Keep it square, and we're going to flatten the flat side here. All right. Want to draw it out just a touch. How many minutes we got? I don't know. I Five minutes. I used to wear a watch, now I wear a phone. Uh, no, I don't know if we'll stream the Damascus or not. We may do another stream later today after everybody's done with theirs, but I'm not going to print on anybody else's uh, time. Spencer Coop, what's up, man? Didn't know you was here. Huh, <laughs> first time you shaved your head was a few years ago in February, you learned a whole new definition of cold up in Canada. <laughs> oh! Yeah, you crazy. <laughs> Shit. I'd be shaving a bear gluing at the top of my head and stay warm up in Canada. What are you talking about? I live in North Carolina. i got to keep a beard to keep my face warm. Shit. Uh, good stuff. And it could be worse. My granddad was old. My granddad. My brother, my grandfather. But my dad always said that there's only these perfect heads the rest of that's right. That's right. <laughs> I had a friend by the time we graduated with gray hair. Beard, hair, solid white hair. Yep. Oh, yeah. Started when he was like 14 by the time we yep, graduated. He was gray hair. That I went to high school with. And his hair is like white, white. I was, I'm wondering how long it's going to take him to put a little Wallace. scout water on that fire. Like beautiful white, gray hair, like Carl Wong. Oh, yeah. Becky's got some white, snow white hair. Almost silver so white. It's so beautiful. Almost silver white. Flatten out, Bob. Take the face flat. Curling up like that on you. You can't do too much on one side. I know it's 
That ain't perfect. <laughs> Jock, I don't even know what y'all want. I don't even know what wants to know. No. I don't even want to know. Yeah, I got some young guys that don't think I'm going to shave my head and turn around and laugh. I said, yeah, one day you're going to look as good. All right, guys, we're going to shut her down here in just a minute. It's coming up on noon o'clock. Don't want to fall noon o'clock. We'll let Bob finish rounding these things up, get these calls done, and me and this, his son James. I, I'm going to call him Little James. I'm Big James. Me and Little James. Mr. Bob, we're going to make us some magic. Probably going to make him a, a fuller and tool as well for his hammers today while we're here. So, we got a lot of good fun stuff coming. But appreciate all you guys hanging out with us this morning. Go ahead and shut it down. Get ready to go on over to Yamez, guys. Island Middle Forge. Check him out. Bob waves bye to him. Bye now. Y'all have a good one. See you next time. Ending the stream. It's going to be a